in this video i'm going to show you how to use an email template to send an email by using dynamic content now i'm not going to show you how to send an email using email template because i have already covered that in one of the videos so if you haven't seen that make sure that you go ahead and see that video so in that video what i've done is like i've created a simple flow which performs an unbound action it sends email from template or you can use an another template which ms dyn underscore send email from template and then you can send across the specific template and the email will be sent so this is how the email will look like so if i go to email messages i will see this simple particular email so it is sent to girish ligu cc bcc subject line and the content now see here in the subject line this is hard coded value right and this is also a hard coded value now what if i want to make this value dynamic okay now if you see this record now this email record is linked to a contact now this is a contact a li b link okay now what is that contact so let me show you the contact over here so a li b link is a contact and this is i have hard coded the value now you can make it dynamic you can uh, use a dynamic uh, value and then you can specify that specific user or any other custom say if you are using a custom table if you are not using contact you can use that and then you can link that value now how to make the dynamic content now take for example this record ali billing now if i want to specify which country does ali belongs to uh which city okay so just don't go with this data so let me pick this correct data so beijing is the correct city okay so so i can make the change over here directly so i can just type in writing and let's pick up other field say email okay so let me see if i have email or uh, last name so let me pick up this couple of fields okay so email let me pick up some value so aa at abcd.com okay so let's assume this is that email address of ali and this is the country and this is the city and i want this email last name all this value to be sent as a part of an email so how do i get those information so i have already taken this as a reference so this is the hard coded reference now where i have hard coded this 395 e the guid so you can see in the flow 395 is in the item regarding so this is all good i need not make any change in the flow but i will show you how to make this content dynamic so pick up the email template so i'm gonna go and pick up the email template this is the email template which i have created and this has a subject line and this has some content now if i want to show the city which ali belongs to or the last name of uh, that person or let me see if there are any other parameters so email city country last name email so i'll pick email as well okay so if you want to show this dynamic content what you can do is like let me first make it bold okay and now here if i want to show the last name let's assume over here so this is the syntax so you put a curly brace okay so let me pick up this curly brace you put an exclamation you put the table name logical name you put the colon and then this is the logical name of the column so xxx is the logical name of the table yyy is the logical name of the column semicolon and you put a curly brace so if you put this expression you will be able to get the value so let me do one thing let me copy this over here and let me copy this over here now let me maximize this just to show you so let's pick up email now all this three value belong to that same table right now what is that table the table name is contact so what is the logical name of the table so go to properties and pick the logical name so the logical name is contact so we know here instead of xxx let's put contact and instead of yyy which is the column name so the column name for email so let's go and find the email column name so edit column 
email column name is email address one. So let me pick this value, paste it over here. Then you go and find the other value, which is city and last name. So city edit column copy and paste and then last name so go to last name edit column copy and paste and in the subject line if you want to copy the same thing you can copy the same thing say take for example if you want to just put the city in the subject line yes you can copy this particular piece of code and maybe I'll just put a hyphen and then paste it okay once you're done with this okay once you're done with this once you save it it will automatically validate this so if you see here this is how it will look but the moment i save this all template will look different so you will click on save and if the logical name for table and that value is correct then it will uh, validate that automatically so let me close save and close and go back to this template again. And if there are any syntax error, this will look different. Now, as you see over here, we wrote something, but now once it is validated, it has automatically said that, oh, the contact is the table name and email is the column. So it has automatically picked that value. So that means it has done that validation. There is no issue. But if this didn't appear, then there is some issue with your dynamic content. Okay, so let's try this out. So let me save this and now I'll run this flow. Click on test, manually click on test, run flow. So this email basically uh, will be sent to those particular user. So let me go into the email messages and go to all emails and you will see a couple of emails which has been sent now, 9.42 p.m and it has picked up the value correctly. So I'll just see here, this one is for Beijing and the email address is AA Beijing and the last name is Beeling. Now this one, this record, I have linked with a different user, okay? So this user is basically 655E1. So if you go over here, 655E1 is this Alfreda beacons all. So you should see South Korea, Sydney, and 50410 in an, another email. And if I go to email messages, all emails, I should see this one. So Sydney beacons all 50410. And so this means this is confirmed that the dynamic content is picked up by the email template and it is sent using the dataverse unbound action so that's it folks this is how you basically use uh, the syntax to send the dynamic content but make sure that the dynamic content is linked to this particular contact now here i'm in the regarding i'm connecting it with a contact now this can be a custom table now in my case this is a contact so that means all this value should come from that contact table column now if you pick the regarding as some different table say the hospital as a table then it will only display value with regards to that hospital table and if there are any linked table values it is going to display that as well so that's it folks this is how you basically send dynamic content using email template Thanks for watching.